Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to see what's the energy surrounding you and the person that's currently on your mind, okay? We're going to see how this person feels about you. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all of your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours, leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see how this person feels about my Virgo. Okay. Give me two more, spirit. Okay, just what I needed. All right, so let's get into this. Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's somebody else here that you're not seeing coming or there's like a an action here. We have, First out, we have the Queen of Swords. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. We have the Ten of Wands here. Walking away, like I feel like this person feels like you're not dealing with their bullshit. I feel like this person really and truly feels like you're all about leaving the past in the past, moving forward. I feel like this is you guys being open and honest. This is you guys speaking your mind. I feel like this is you guys speaking your mind. Ten of Wands, you've been, you've, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot and it's like you're so easy to walk away. You're walking away from any type of bullshit. Three of Cups. You're not playing with anyone. You know, the Three of Cups talks about wanting to reunite, but this is saying that, mm, not too sure, not too sure. But I'm also getting like, this person feels like you're not as playful. There's a, there's a lack of playfulness here. Queen of Pentacles, there's somebody else here in this energy for some of you guys. Or this is saying that you guys are really and truly kind of there's a very little emotion there's very little emotion here i see the magician talks about manifestations talks about communication it talks about power you guys hold a lot of power right now present moment you're transforming death here scorpio energy i feel like there's somebody here there's more than one person in you guys energy and i feel like there's somebody here that is manifesting seven of pentacles this is somebody here that you're not sure you're not sure about this person you have somebody here that you have ended things with this person wants to transform a connection with you this person is trying to manifest you back into their life but the thing about it is this person's not sure that you're willing to allow this to happen no they're not sure um because the way you talk to this person what you've said to this person, what you're saying to these people that's in your energy. Like, I feel like you guys right now, present moment, it's like no bullshitting. Like you're willing to walk away from who, from whoever kind of brings you down is what I'm getting. Like if somebody's coming towards you or somebody's acting funny with you, I feel like you guys are like really, it's like you're walking away from that. Like if somebody's coming towards you with their own problems, with their problems, with emotional baggage and all of the above, I feel like you guys are not, you're not putting up with that. I see this three of cups. Three of cups came out in the reverse. This is saying that you guys are not wanting to reunite. But this is also telling me like you guys, you're, this is like, you're not very playful right now, present moment. With that queen of swords and that queen of pentacles, you're about your business. You guys are about your business. That's how this person's seeing you, really and truly about your business. You know, I feel like this person sees you as magic. Some of you guys, this person knows that you dabble in spiritual, um, spiritual things with the magician here. 
um this person absolutely knows that you kind of dabble um some of you guys this person may be a little intimidated by your status there's an intimidation here as well death here some of you guys someone here this person knows that you're done with them or there's a feeling of this person wanting to transform the connection but with that seven of pentacles this is this is really and truly showing me that because we're moving into this direction and it's like am i investing in something is it a waste of my time this investment and i feel like this person there's a feeling of this person not feeling like they amount to what you amount to or they have what it is that you have there's something here about this energy um or there's something about something growing a little like you're growing impatient with this person this person i feel like this person is questioning where you are in terms of this connection i feel like for some of you guys this person feels that you're gonna leave them yeah i do i feel like for some of you guys this person feels like you're gonna leave them show me this queen of swords show me this queen of swords for my virgo we have the five of cups four of wands nine of wands it's a lot of cards the higher fence and the five of pentacles so you've had an experience that's why you that's why you are the way that you are that's why you're coming across as being so cold and so stern and so that's why you're talking the way that you're talking and all of the above you know you you you've been committed to something you put a whole lot of time and energy into something and someone and someone left you Someone left you out in the cold. Someone left you mourning a loss. There's been a mourning. There's been some grievances here. There's been some wounds here. And there's, there's a lot of loss. You know, we have this five of pentacles here. We have the Hierophant Taurus energy. This could have been a marriage, but truly a connection that you were committed to. We have the four of wands. You know, for some of you guys, this was a twin flame connection. You know, this was a relationship that you thought was your end all be all. And we have the five of cups you know you've learned some very very valuable lessons you're trying again i feel like you guys right now present moment it's like you're trying again nine of wands you're you're trying you're you're absolutely i see where you guys are trying again after disappointment in a commitment you committed yourself and it's just showing me that it didn't sh it didn't turn out the way that the way that you wanted it to and that's why right now present moment you guys are embodying this queen of swords energy it's showing me that you guys are very much so speaking your mind very much so not emotionally attached not it's like there's very little playfulness right now present moment in you guys energy you're about your business you're about your business and you're like direct very much so direct show me this ten of wands show me this ten of wands for my virgos we have the temperance here and we have the knight of swords libra gemini aquarius energy this is you guys watching and waiting patiently waiting patiently waiting i feel like there's a spiritual connection here with you guys and it's like patiently waiting for someone to communicate with you whoever this person is this ten of wands whoever this person is that either walked away from you or you walked away from this person i'm getting somebody could have walked away from you and it's like the audacity of the person walking away from you because this person themselves they were the ones who actually caused a lot of the problems a lot of the riff raps here you know, Ten of Wands, this person, you know, this person that you're thinking about right now, present moment, this person sees that they have to be patient with you. Strong Sagittarius energy. This person feels a spiritual connection with you. They do. Knight of Swords, it's like this person is wanting communication. This person is willing to, to chase after you. But there's something here about you guys needing to let your guards down. This person wants you to let your guards down. Why is this spirit show me? It's like I'm getting a feeling like this person feeling like you're so easy to walk away or turn your back. The sun, Leo energy. 
This person wants to heal things. Like this person wants to make things better for you. Yeah. I feel like you guys have somebody here right now, present moment, who recognize where you've come from to where you're at right now, present moment. And this is somebody that's trying to be patient. They see this spiritual connection with you. Knight of Swords, this person's not going to give up without a fight. This person's not giving up without a fight because they do want to heal things with you. They do want to make you happy. This person does want to heal things with you. They do want to make you happy. Show me the sun. Show me the sun. Wow. Okay. So we have the Eight of Wands, but there's some blockage here in the communication. The Fool and the Three of Wands. This person kind of feels a little foolish. You know, this person kind of feels a little foolish, you know. Is this all for nothing? Is this all for nothing? You know, the three of wands, you know, this is someone here that is thinking of the future. Patient, patiently waiting, patiently waiting. The fool here, strong Aries energy. It's like waiting for you. It's like I'm getting an energy of like someone here waiting for you to deal with some some of your demons or some things from your past. Like there's something here about some baggage, some burdens here, some weight here. And the eight of wands, there's blockage here, blockage in communication, blockage in travel. And I feel like this person wants to fix things with you, wants to help you heal, wants to help transform your life. And I feel like you I feel like you guys have somebody here that's trying to be patient with you. And they want you to be patient with them. Cuz this person is thinking about a future with you. This person is thinking about a future with you. They are. But they do question if they're foolish. They do question if they're foolish. They do, um, because there's something about this new beginning here, because the fool is this brand new beginning, but it's like you guys are running away from it, avoiding it. I feel like there's some emotional baggage here. Look at her feet. I feel like there's some emotional baggage here that's just kind of still lingering. And this person, they could have this emotional baggage or you could have this emotional baggage. And I feel like it's because you guys don't want to deal with it right now, present moment. It's actually causing some type of blockage. And some of you guys, you could be blocked from this person in some type of way, shape or form. Or this person could be blocked from you. Because it's like someone doesn't want to deal with these emotions. Someone doesn't want to deal with these demons here. In order to have this brand new beginning. Truly in order to have this brand new beginning. I feel like there is a... Show me, show me this. Show me the fool. Show me the fool. We have the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This is somebody here that is very much so caring, very much so loving. This is somebody here that communicates how they feel. I feel like it's this person. It's, it's like this person being kind of scared of you knowing their weaknesses or knowing a deep burden. It's like this person knowing that there's a deep burden with, inside of them that's causing, they recognize that what's causing the problem, the craziest thing is that this person knows that you see straight through them. 
This person knows that you see straight through them. Yeah, show me this three of cups. I feel like, and that's why you guys aren't, that's why you guys are so serious. There's a seriousness in your energy. There's, there's no time to play, no time for games right now, present moment. So we have the king of wands and the queen of cups. This is more than one person here. Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is someone here that wants to reunite that some of you guys, you're not wanting to deal with this person because this person wasn't faithful. No. Um, some of you guys, there's a Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Not giving emotionally, emotionally detached, emotionally manipulative. Um, Page of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy. So I see where there's an offer, an opportunity to reunite with someone here. But I, I feel like because someone's emotionally immature, emotionally unavailable, you guys are not wanting to reunite with this person. Someone has 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 lied or cheated or was unfaithful, wanted to, was getting too much attention, was partying. I'm getting like some of you guys, you could have been date, dating someone here that was or, or with someone here that spent a lot of time nightlife i'm getting a lot of nightlife i'm also getting a little third party energy as well and i don't see where you guys want to reunite with this person i don't see where you guys want to reunite with this person no You, you guys, there's a there's a big group of you guys where you think you think too you think too highly of yourself right now, present moment, Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, and you're manifesting. You're manifesting and you're standing in your power right now, present moment. So I see where it's like if something is not transforming to something better, you guys are willing to end it. And you're not wanting to waste your time investing in something. That's not giving you back a return on your investment. And I feel like this person recognizes this. This person does recognize this. Show me this Queen of Pentacles. So we have the High Priestess and the Chariot. Yeah. You're, you're very intuitive. Very much so looked upon. Very intuitive. Very much so looked upon. The Chariot, Cancer Energy, the High Priestess, Pisces Energy. You know, you're breaking down barriers here. Moving forward, strength, Leo energy. There is some there 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 is some some insecurity here. Why is the why is there insecurity in this energy? Because there's some there's some things that's hidden from you. Even though, like, you know, you guys can take care of yourself, even though you guys are standing on your own two feet is what I'm getting in this energy. Some of you guys are in a real good place financially, abundant, a very abundant place. There's still some insecurities because there's some things that you don't know. Show me. We have the lovers. We have judgment and we have the page of swords. Page of swords is your spy craft card. This is your investigative card. You know, the lovers is a choice. Judgment, you're rendering judgment. Some of you guys, you may you may have found out like something something came to light here. This is something that has come to light like thinking like you know, you were thinking that something was in one status and then all of a sudden something came to light and you're seeing or you're finding out you're seeing or you're finding out or you found out that there's more than one person here. Some of you guys, you may have somebody who wants to have something third party and it actually you it makes you feel a little insecure. Or you may have had someone here that may have stepped out on you or however this goes. And it makes you feel a little insecure here or like there's a feeling of not being able to match someone's energy or not being able to satisfy someone the way that they may want to be satisfied here. And I feel like some of you guys, it's like you're trying to figure this out, but I'm also seeing where you guys are rendering judgment on someone here. There's some, there is some insecurity here. 
because there's someone else here in this energy you know some of you guys like you could have been working so hard truly working so so hard and thinking that everything was well and it's like come to find out there's a come to find out energy here show me the magician show me the magician someone could have been you using you for your resources as well yeah death scorpio energy ten of wands and eight of cups emotionally detached So you guys are manifesting to be able to, for the strength to walk away from a situation. Like, I'm hearing like, I can do better. Why do I subject myself to this? Why am I going through this? Why am I allowing this to happen? This is like you guys kind of talking to, talking to yourself, correcting yourself because it's like you're trying to manifest an ending to something, a transformation in something, and a connection because there's so much you know that you deserve better. You know that you can do better. You know that you deserve better. You know that you can do better here. Eight of Cups. This is you guys walking away. This is what you're manifesting. The strength to be able to walk away, to be able to move away from this. Truly manifesting the strength to be able to move away from this. So I see this ending for a brand new beginning to happen. That's what you guys are manifesting. An ending for a brand new beginning to happen. We have the nine of cups here. Because you guys, you guys want to be, you want your cups filled. You guys want to be satisfied. And right now, present moment, you are not. Right now, present moment, you are not. Show me. We have the three of swords, healing, trying to get right. The empress could be dealing with a mother figure here. A mother, an older mother figure could be involved in this. Seven of swords. There's some lies here, like overcoming all of this. Needing to rest. I see you guys trying to heal from a relationship where there was lies, there was involvement like parents involved, there was lies here. Somebody could truly be healing from like someone sleeping with more than one person here. Yeah, I see a lot of trying to bring something to an end because you're not fulfilled and you're not happy because there's been so much deception here and like some of you guys you could have had like ex that this person's parents could have been lying to you all along as well hmm. i also have justice here there's an injustice some of you guys could be going through a divorce and somebody's mother is probably happy about that. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Indecisive, The Hangman, Pisces, Energy, Page of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, and this person may want to start up things again with you. This person, because I see this person may want to start up things again with you. But this is a no-go for you. You're seeing this person from a totally different point of view. And you guys are like seeking out like total freedom here total freedom from this situation strong pisces energy you know i felt i feel like you guys you've been kind of indecisive and i feel like that's what you guys are praying and this is what you guys are manifesting for the strength to be able to overcome this the strength to be able to move on from this yeah massive energy let's see show me spirit show me what i need to see for my virgos and between my virgos and this person show me what i need to see my Virgos in this person it says so mirrors. 
So we got soul marriage. Others reflect your own relationship with yourself. Open heart healing union. So this is about healing. There's reflections of wounds here. I feel like some of you guys, you're interacting right now, present moment, with somebody who can relate. Can relate to what you've been through. I feel like you, you guys are dealing with somebody right now, present moment, that's trying to open up your heart. Trying to heal. I'm getting two people that's coming together to actually heal. Heal with each other. Heal one another. Heal a situation. And then we have ever after. Having the fortitude to create a lasting love. Long term, all in and invest. And I feel like, you know, you guys, you kind of go back and forth about this connection here. But it's, it's about having the fortitude to create a lasting love here. I feel like this is questioning does this person have the fortitude here to create a lasting love? Because some of you guys, there's a reflection here of someone who has done things unto you. But then for some of you guys, there's a reflection here of somebody here that knows of what you've experienced. They can relate and they want to help you heal, heal with you. You help them. Like that's what I'm getting in this energy. And I feel like, you know, some of you guys, there's someone here that wants you to open up your heart to them. It's like they won't do to you what this other person has done to you. Like this person wants you to know that they won't do to you what this other person has done to you. You know, some of you guys, this per somebody wants you to open up your heart to them. Let go of what you're holding on to. Because some of you guys, you are holding on to some true, true pain here. Some true, true baggage, some true, true burdens. You may have moved on from it, but you haven't quite yet moved on from it. And some of you guys, the other person is still in your energy, still trying to get back with you. And, you know, there's some intimidation surrounding you right now, present moment. There is. You guys are magic. You guys are absolutely magic. But there's something about a relationship, a connection truly needing to be to be over and done with and for you guys to decide where you truly want to invest you guys are needing to decide where do you really and truly want to invest who do you really and truly want to invest in because i do feel like there's a there's someone here in your energy that where they question if they're wasting their time massive massive energy all right, my loves, that's what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Know that I love every last one of you guys. Until next time, bye guys.